I imagine this is a little bit more than they bargained for when they were trying to find that Pikachu, but some serious tailgating right there. That's some shitty driving. If I can imagine any of my friends murdering me. I could imagine one friend of yours murdering you. Is it you? No. Ultimately, the blanket lead was a dead end. Poor guy, working on that lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm re you're really you're gonna find something with these blankets if you just follow the trail. And you're like, all right, just we're doing some work here. It looks like it was made in the country of Canada. They only made a few thousand of them. <laughs> these poor people at this funeral home are just trying to d make a nice little occasion for this brutally murdered man. And, and they have th just this cartoonish cast of characters calling them up to deliver these grisly, grim messages. If I'm working at that home, I'm just, I'm getting fed up. You wanna come do the job? You wanna do my job? How about I be you and you be Show me? up! Why don't you bury them, asshole? <laughs> it, Stop it, just calling me, I'm busy. It's fucking annoying. You know how hard it is to reconstruct this man's skull? Hello talk like, it could either mean something you do after sex, or it could mean- Yeah, I think that's it what It could mean is. what's like a sleepover. Do you tell talk. ghost stories after sex? <laughs> that's for me and my girlfriend to know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you just spark up a, a cigarette. Let me tell you about the Keddy Cabin murders. <laughs> Walk into a store, pocket a cola. You could pocket a cola, punch the guy in the face. Yeah, and be and like, then be like, um, see you later. My name's Shane Madey. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Cops wouldn't get to your door for weeks. Yeah, fingerprinting wasn't really around that much. No. Uh, there was no surveillance cameras. They'd have to go off a description, and for you, it'd be tall white guy with a large head, and that's yeah. a lot of people in Chicago. That's a I lot imagine. of people in Chicago. And it seems like everyone kept checking in to be like, let's make sure nothing horrible is happening here. <laughs> Oh, seems like it might be. We'll give it another hour. <laughs> and then an hour later, okay, yep. This murder's fine. not ripe yet. <laughs> it's not ripe yet for the plucking. Yeah. Also, the way they found him. Imagining that is truly horrifying. He said he was within two feet of the door on his knees and his elbows, holding his head in his hands. Like No, like, not like that. He's not taking glamour shots. <laughs> nice of you to come in. I'm dying. Just blood? <laughs> This though, this would be like if you were eaten by a shark. Or a bear. Oh, I'm sorry. This would be like if you were eaten by a bear. I thought for a second we were talking about things that are actually scary. I made the mistake of thinking of the most apex predator and I forgot that you're afraid of one of the lesser predators. So yes. No, no. I'm gonna let this slide because I know you're just trying to get a rise out of me and you truly do believe that the bear is the most dominant animal. I truly animal. believe that. Yeah, it's the most dominant all-terrain animal in the world. And yeah, there's no, sure it it's is. It's a killing machine. Yeah, pop, pop that thing in the ocean, see yeah. how it does. What's truly dubious is the fact that the caller identified the skull as Tina's. But how could the caller have known that based on the skull alone? Because the caller was the murderer. Yeah, that, that's what I'm suggesting. Oh, you were phrasing it in a dramatic way. Yeah, it's creepy. I don't even want to think about it. Anyways, that. get out of my house. Uh, I mean, there's how-to crime manuals in his house, there's chemistry there. I it, mean, it just said how-to crime? No, like, I don't think it was titled How To Crime. Oh. There were manuals of how to. If he had a book called How To Crime. How To Crime. <laughs> then there, there's your guy. Yeah, it was written in crayon. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna phrase this where I don't sound like a psychopath. Good luck. <laughs> These guys are racist? Most of them were Italian grocers. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what made you turn? If there's already the basis that he's gonna be killing, I do not approve of that, but if he's gonna do it, then at least do it randomly. I, I think just, how about don't kill people? Look, Ryan, what are we here for? <laughs> just, I thought we were here to get into the mind of a serial killer. I know, I'm just saying, what if they all just happen to be Italian grocers? Oh, that's rich. It all just <laughs> happened to be, yeah, that'll okay, hold so up in court. You tell me we're through. Great, what else do you want? <laughs> I murdered people <laughs> for you. I know. And now what? Clearly she's the jerk in this one. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, so I'm the psycho because I murdered four oh, people. Oh, because I murdered four people. Ruined that perfectly good night. The maid, Mary Soap Dick. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, God. I know what you're... She's a maid. Her name is Soap Dick. I'm ha, trying ha, to move back. What a really funny big laugh you got out of that. Look how, yeah, look how happy you are. Oh, man. Soap what a dick. gem of comedy we've mined here today. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five year old Mitchell Trump brought his cell phone. Mitchell! You traitor! <laughs> you are a traitor to the Trump clan. Did oh. you just realize something? What just happened? Well, remember in the first theory I said there was the guy who did said not... he, he sold his son. Yeah, did you just not realize that until now though? Yeah. <laughs> because 
Jesus, I've never seen you. You wake up. You could put a light bulb up. Can we play that back and put a <laughs> light bulb over Ryan's head when that happens? Was that clear, That what the connection I made? Get your sunglasses ready because this one is packed full of bright stars. Wow, he had them ready. He didn't even know I was gonna say that. Had them good to go. I'm I'd, always uh, ready, baby. <laughs> I'd like any of the listed suspects could possibly be the killer. Oh shit. So basically, it's just making the case even more open-ended than we already thought it was. Yeah, because the DNA was ruling out a bunch of other people. Yeah, so it could conceivably be anyone. Well, what the fuck are we doing here, Well, man? that's why it's unsolved. This is a, why? I mean, There's a reason why it's unsolved. Personally, I love the island theory. I would love it to be true because I like, I like the peril of it. I, I like think the you drama. just like her getting eaten by crabs. I love the thought of someone getting eaten by crabs. <laughs> there it is. I, th I like how you tried to sugarcoat it. Yeah. And I went immediately to the core of what I knew you would find interesting There's just about something, it. something truly gross about it and horrifying. <laughs> what kind of box are we talking? I know this isn't... It's funny you would ask that because that's exactly what we're about to get into. I have and the mind of a, a detective. Yeah, it's the first clue. Good. You don't have the mind of a detective. You just... I think I do. You stumbled upon a good a a question for once that you know, actually pertained to the story. You can sip your tea all you want. <laughs> I'm just saying it's clearly a coincidence. <laughs> was that morbid? Mm -hmm. You know all of this is morbid, That's right? True. Whatever. I'm sure human with butter would taste pretty good. Where are you going? I just, don't know. To sleep? Okay. By the way, two figures. Razor Boy. <laughs> oh my god, no. He's back. <laughs> no, we're not calling that. He's back from boarding school. <laughs> you didn't do that, did you? No, I didn't. What? Is there anything to suggest that I would chase my mom with an ax? Not outright. I feel like if you Not peel the outright. layers back. You think you peel the layers back from this onion, you'll see something you don't want to see? Yeah, I think you wear a mask sometimes. Mm. I think you should keep digging and maybe see what happens. Oh, no, I'm good. Clean it. <laughs> Clean the room. You, I think you're getting Anton Chigurh vibes from this guy. Fluff the pillow. <laughs> if you was like, like, yeah! And then, you think he screamed like R2-D2? <laughs> See, that's kind of horrifying when you think about that sure one. Sure is. But there was a moment where she was probably like, wow, he's really enjoying that ride. Yeah, it's just one of those unfortunate deaths where obviously it's a tragedy, but boy oh boy, is that a laugh riot. <laughs> I have a hard time imagining someone going gaga over walking. You go 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 you go 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 over walk. I go go go. You go 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 go. You know he's probably magnetic. Illinois is known for soybeans and poison medicine. And Shane Madé. And me. The nation's greatest tragedy. Uh huh. Did Fred chime in during any of these? Uh... Not really. I think mm. Fred was too busy white knuckling it on the on the passenger seat. That was a bad idea. <laughs> My wife told me not to do this. <laughs> exactly. Are you under the impression he wrote this in bubbly letters? No, I'm just saying maybe he was spacing it out. It's a notepad. He doesn't need to space it out. Know. Okay, then I don't understand the practice. No, then. you do I. That's the point. Jesus, I don't understand the beheading. <laughs> what is that all about? Did I actually just solve something? It ha I think you did, to be honest. I may have just solved something. Oh my God. You've done it, Ryan. But, but if, it would have, if that's the case, then the police would have just released it. So obviously this, that's, it, it, this is not right. Feels right. Wow, that not doesn't take a lot to convince you. Like I ate a pumpkin once when I was drunk. I just took a bite out of a pumpkin. You're you're a weird dude. <laughs> Why is that Eating just pumpkins, up? afraid of people sticking you with heroin needles. These That's are weird. a rational fear. I that bet. is not a rational fear. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What are we talking about, Natalie Wood? I don't know. These are the musings of a paranoid man. That's like a foot taller than you. <sighs> I knew you were gonna say that. I'm five ten, by the way. So. No, there's no quotes there. Well, when you wear your special shoes, yes, no, you're No, 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 that's from the doctor. Yes, your shoes are from the doctor. No, <laughs> no they're not. Yeah, they I'm are. five foot ten, damn it. Janet, we left the... <laughs> we left the box. <laughs> Our boy was in that box. <laughs> Cocktail weenies. <laughs> I assume the only people who saw him were the ones who were killed. Some of them survived, and they would just report like a large looming figure, like a dark figure. Oh. So he really did become kind of like a boogeyman. It kind of goes with the there, creeps. There are beads everywhere in this town. That means New Orleans. Funeral flowers were anonymously arranged with the Rock Flower Company, along with a card that said, quote, love forever, Luis, end quote, placed on Owen's grave. Yeah, I'm just gonna start sending flowers to people's funerals and say, love forever, Luis. You should just say, love forever, Shane, in a picture of yourself. 
like that. But then people are going to ask me questions like, why'd you do that? And I'd say, uh, oh, it's a funny joke. It's and they'd bit. say, this is a funeral, you know. <laughs> I'm curious. If I'm LBJ and I've got my illicit arm charm out for the evening with Tricky Dick next to me and old J. Edgar Hooves. <laughs> Tricky Dick. I'm not, I'm not going to whisper into her ear, hey, <laughs> Tricky the dick. president's going to die tomorrow. I can't get over Who you calling that? Richard Nixon Tricky Dick. That's what everybody called him. Is that what it, was that it? Oh, uh, Tricky Dick. Tricky Dick. Yeah. Um, would you take that kind of a risk as a killer to do all these weird little things inside the house? Yes. <laughs> Dr. Lakshmanan Satyapa Jaiswaran. Yeah. That's not uh, Vladimir Putin fucking whispering sweet nothings into Trump's ear. That's him blowing someone's head off. Right. I'm in that bubble. You, you we see a, a lot of bubble content. You have a habit for citing movies as I've evidence. never seen this movie. Well, I just know it's about John Travolta and he can't go That's outside even worse. because germs are, will kill him and he has to stay in plastic okay. and he kisses a girl. We're moving. Ooh, the plastic. <laughs> We're moving on. Okay. So fucking walking is essentially Thor. Yeah. I like this drink. <laughs> Another. It does make me realize I don't give people the middle finger enough. Like if someone's like, hey, uh, you want to grab some salads for lunch? They'd be like, it's meaner without the noise, oh, I think. Oh, so it's just kind of be like <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, it's better. So right. yeah. Do you think Advil was behind this? No, I don't think Advil was behind. Is this Big Advil? No, I don't think Big Advil. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not slandering the company of Advil. Big because Advil I use sounds your... like a shitty indie band. <laughs> the latest release from Big Advil. You see the Big Advils and the new Coachella, Coachella lineup? <laughs> this is Colorado, right? It's snowing. I mean, conceivably, maybe the snow got covered up. No. But <laughs> no. there's also- I the, know snow. You don't do you, know snow because you, you're a Southern California lily. Oh, you're uh, going to pull this car I, now from your Chicago, from the uh, Windy City, and I, I don't know anything about weather because we know snow out there. We know so snow. nice. It's not that hard. It falls from the sky and it hits the ground. What, there's a, there's the some nuance history? to it. There's some intricacy and if- uh, Such as what? Oh, you don't even know. He's got just a bag full of mailboxes and beards. And, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He's a regular criminal carrot top. Yeah. He's got a whole little case full of things and like little intricacies. <laughs> a, little a little horn. Honk, yeah. Honk. Horn, Elmer's glue, we're good to go. I just cut up an old man. Honk, honk. Oh, looks like you're not good enough detectives to figure out what I've done. Here, let me throw you a bone. Literally. Literally. Oh. oh. My interest is piqued. Really? Yeah. You, you said that with a complete dead face, so I, I can never tell when you're being serious. My interest is peaked. Okay, don't do that. Is that better? Nope, that wasn't better. Let's get into it. I fucking love that. Oh man, I can't the wait The Umbrella that. Man. Oh, I love it too. I can't wait to tell you. Oh, that. baby. <laughs> oh, the Umbrella shit. Man. Don't call me baby, but yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just a theory. <laughs> that it, well, it's, it's dumb. <laughs> He shrunk down like a little mouse. Is that what you're saying? I, He's like Ant Man. He like. Poof, poof, poof. <laughs> now I'm big. Time to die. At what? <laughs> this all makes sense. <laughs> what do you have against Pennsylvania? I don't know. It's quiet up there. People got too much free time. You know what happens next? What do they even do? What's Pennsylvania known for? What? what Putting are... boys in boxes. <laughs> I don't think that's. I wouldn't say that Pennsylvanians are have a proclivity for. I boxes think if you look boys. at their state flag, you'll see so. a boy in a box. False. No, it's okay. You know what? He's like, he's, you know, he's screwing the little bolts on and they're like, well, you know what they're gonna use this for? No. Well, they're that babe of the sky. She's gonna, she's gonna fly around the globe. Oh, is that so? Is that what she thinks she's gonna do? Oopsie. Oops. There goes a screw. Yeah. The sky belongs to men. <laughs> your, your brain is imploding right now. I need like a visual here. So his wife- well, When a man loves a woman. And so. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's, it's his, it's his wife. Yeah, it's not incest technically because it's, it's not, not. Yeah, I, anytime you have to say it's not incest technically. <laughs> that's not great, Ryan. True, but it isn't. It's not his blood. Okay. I love this right off the bat. What do you love about it? Well, I love, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I love it when serial killers have a fun little thing. I don't approve of serial killers, but I think if you're gonna kill a bunch of people, you might as well have some fun with it. I feel like you have baseball cards of this guy. You... I absolutely do not. They don't make serial killer baseball cards though, do they? If they did, you'd probably own them. You would own them. No, I think you would own them too. You'd I'd be own like, them. I'll trade you a Gacy for a... <laughs> I'll trade you a Gacy for a Zodiac. Yeah. Who sold his son? Yeah, so he rented a place to this guy who sold his son. 
He sold his Which son. is weird because unless he was there to actually see the sale go down, that's not something you really tell somebody in passing. <laughs> wow, the place is beautiful. I'm selling my son tomorrow. I'll take it. How much is it? How many bedrooms? We'll need one of them. Bucks. Can you believe it? How much is rent again? <laughs> so, but oh, I will yeah. now blink to you in Morse code who I think did it. You don't know Morse code. Who doesn't know Morse code? Well, everyone who knows Morse code knows who I thought did it. So, 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 it's unsolved. unsolved. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we did nothing here once again. No, this was a this was the worst. Yeah, this was great. Thanks, Ryan. Same time next week. No. Okay. You. That's my chair. That's mine now. One way to treat people. That's fucking terrifying. How scary is it? You just lock your door. You're in a car. Drive away. That's not that scary. And then you know, if, if the doors don't work and he starts breaking a window, then guess what? Time to die. <laughs> And that's, that's a bummer. That's... But see, at that point, it's like, I'm dead. I guess I don't have anything else to worry about. So at, at what point does the fear come in for you? About when the life is draining out of my body. <laughs> or is that someone will trick me into doing heroin. Which is the dumbest fear I've ever heard in my life. It, it would be against admit, my will. How many situations could even put you up to that potential danger? Like, I don't know. All it takes How is... many parties are you going to with heroin? Involved? None. But it someone, seems like a lot. It's not the fear that I'm at a party. It's a fear that someone would come up to me on the street and put heroin in me. And then I'm hooked forever. What the fuck? This guy's a poet laureate. <laughs> you know. This is incredible. Is this Robert Frost? <laughs> Worth noting, it's a town of 66 people. I'm not a gambling man, but I don't really like those odds. Because they've never caught this person? Is that the... Uh... Yeah, so we could conceivably run into this guy, you know, taking a dump in the woods or something. Are we going to stop into town and tell him what we're doing? No, I'm not going to stop into town and tell them what we're doing. Are you fucking out of your mind? I'm starting to think you want to die. It, it's, it's pointless to point the finger at them, is what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. It, you, you could say it's anybody at that point, because it doesn't matter. You're making a baseless conclusion. You could say it's fucking Lime Cat or something. Lime Cat? You know, the cat that has a lime cut in half and he wears it as a helmet? He's the person who pulled the trigger. Or she. I don't know if Lime Cat's a internet here. photo? Yeah, yeah, Lime Cat killed JFK. That's what I'm saying. It's just as Do dumb. Do people call that Lime Cat? Yeah, it's Lime Cat. Is it a cantaloupe or something? No, it's, on its, it's a lime. It's a lime. I don't know. Is it Lime Cat? I'm pretty sure it's Lime Cat. I've, n I've never heard someone refer to this cat so casually. Everybody in town's got axe man fever as the terror continues to grip the community. This just in, throw away your axes. This just in, more skulls crushed. Whoa, <laughs> oh, throw out your axes. <laughs> Maybe he went down that way, but it looks like... That's a forest. You can't no imagine gonna, if it... You see someone running through the forest covered in blood, you're not gonna bat an eye. You'll probably just be like, oh, <laughs> as you were. That's not how the forest works. You see someone in the forest covered in blood, you're gonna be like, excuse me, sir. Why are you covered well, in blood? Well, I'm not gonna stop him, but maybe I'll like take a good look at what he looks like. I'll Call just the let police, them, that sort of thing. I'll just let him mind their own. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad to know that if you would be the worst crime scene witness of all time. <laughs> just, let me see. Just, the devil, his satanic majesty. Just, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That'll get him. Time to go murder again. <laughs> Sounds like he's very accomplished and distinguished and probably knows what he's talking about. That photo looks like shit. <laughs> So I don't care what he thinks of it. He might as well be looking at like a Rorschach blot and being like, that's a, it's your mother. I don't care just, what he thinks. Oh, I don't like End quote. Ryan, Ryan. I know everybody wanted to hear about this case, but I don't want it anymore. I'm done. Touching on the suspect, this guy's very suspicious. Yeah, Ryan, he is. And it's going to get worse. Why? Jazz it. End quote. You better jazz it. <laughs> He turned jazz into Honey, a Honey, we gotta jazz it. <laughs> he turned jazz into a I'm not gonna throw out this axe, so we better jazz it. He's a bit like Santa Claus. Okay, I'd like First to hear First of all, he says he's gonna pass over New Orleans. That's a bit magical. Sure. Just imagine him flying through the skies with his big axe, riding a crocodile <laughs> or an alligator, whatever they got. Or a, a demon. Traveling on demon's wings, and just looking down at all the little houses, listening for jazz. <laughs> It's like the good enough. So fabulous. he's like the Grinch trying to listen to the Whoville people sing. Exactly right. I still don't understand how he's Santa Claus. Santa Claus never bashed anyone's head in with a big sack of toys. That's true. But he does give him coal. What? Is it weird back then that you could just pretend to be someone? You could still do that today. Nah. I bet you I could check into a hotel right now and say my name is uh, uh, Ricky Goldsworth. But then they're going to say... Oh, do you have a credit card, sir? And I'll be like, oh yeah, this is my uh, my friend. Uh, I'm just putting that. It, it's just a deposit, That's right? Not You're not going to They're going to put handcuffs on you right away. Where'd you grow up, Ricky Goldsworth? Oh, I grew up down the road. Where? No. What city? Oh, New York City. 
You grew up in New York City. This is happening in New York now. What's your mother's name, Ricky Goldsworth? Uh, Lucy Goldsworth. What's her maiden name? Lucy Gold. (laughs) See, crumbling. Well, I wouldn't stumble like that. I'd have a, I'd have a, a, a prepared response. And You'd be firing them off? I'd be firing them off, and I'd be like, what's the fucking holdup? <laughs> I'm trying to check into a room, and you're giving me a goddamn inquisition? Is this how you treat all your customers? All right. Who do you think you are? That's fair. Huh? Okay, and I, and that's I'd poke fair. them in the chest like this, huh? At this point, huh, I'm buster? giving you a room, all right? <laughs> you did it. You're, you're, you win. <laughs> you win, Ricky. I love bizarre, and I love mysterious. So I am titillated. I once fell into a pile of bricks when I was a kid. What? and I don't remember much of it after that. What? Yeah, I was climbing because we were playing hide and seek. I was trying to hide and I thought I had the best hiding spot. Turns out I was wrong, the branch broke and I just This fell. explains a lot. You fell into And after heart. that I could see ghosts. I don't think it gave you the vision. It gave me my eyes. I think it put a hole in your brain. <laughs> was he also pretending to be a weirdo? He had to have been, right? Was he like, yeah man, I'm a journalist, but I'm a sicko, trust me. Trust me, I'm a sicko. <laughs> That's all he said over and over again. That's <laughs> For all... four years, trust me, I'm a sicko. I just think it's very rich that you're calling me a wimp. Yeah. Because you hear a, a footstep and you go into, Ooh, I better hide under the bed. <laughs> you, you know, do you know me? <laughs> do you see my little boy face? Does this look familiar to you? <laughs> you know what's even weirder? Even if he didn't open with that and he's like interrogating someone like, you seen this kid? No, no. All right, let me pull out one more thing. <laughs> clip, clip, clip. Now. <clears throat> now have you seen him? And they're just like, no, can you please leave can my home? Can you please leave? <laughs> also, this you guy didn't know, he was just delivering bread. He opened yeah, the he door. He was probably like, good morning, I've got your Ben. Oh my God. <laughs> he probably hit him once and the guy was like, oh boy, what a bump. And he was or, like, uh, all right, I guess I'll hit you again. And he was like, oh my goodness, that didn't feel much better. <laughs> I was like, three, four, five. Well, it was aliens. <laughs>